Training. It sounds a bit serious and unlike our road riding compatriots, we as mountain bikers like to take a little bit more of a chilled look at things. Now, rather than finishing a ride and crunching numbers and seeing how many watts we were putting out, it's more about grabbing a beer and talking line choice. That's not to say we don't like to keep fit mind, but training can be a bit of a minefield. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of the common mistakes made and hopefully how you can avoid them. Let's dive in then. And before you head for the gym and hit the weights or out onto the hill and do some sprints, take it steady. Think about a training plan. Now, not having a plan day by day or week by week can actually be detrimental to your performance. Having a look and making a plan, so looking at what you can do, when you can do it, and the intensity that you can sustain is a really good idea. If you just make up a plan that sort of sees you doing God knows how much, too much, stretching yourself really thin each week, then this is gonna have a damage to you both physically and mentally. If you want to know more about how to make a good structured training plan, then I did a video for this not long ago. The description is actually in the link of this video. Let's talk goal setting then. Having something to aim for can be a really useful way of focusing the training that you're doing. If you don't set a goal, you can find yourself sort of aimlessly wandering from session to session, not really knowing what you're doing or where you're going with it. A goal can be anything from a personal fitness level to an event that you've got planned, but make sure it's something that's obtainable. Too often I hear someone with some crazy unobtainable goal that they just can't get to. There's no point saying, oh, this time next year, I'm gonna win a World Cup, when unfortunately, as much as I'd like to, it's not gonna happen. Make your goals obtainable and something that you can really work towards. If you decide to delve into the world of training and making a plan up for yourself or getting someone to make one up for you, then make sure it's not gonna be stretching yourself too thin and it's actually something that you want to do. Overtraining can have lots of side effects and some of these are excessive fatigue, agitation and moodiness, insomnia or restless sleep, chronic or nagging injuries. These are just a few symptoms and if you do feel any of them, then maybe it's time to rein it in just a little and take a break. Being specific. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, a lot of the time, if you ask someone, what are you training for? They'll be like, well, nothing in particular. So actually setting out that goal or target can really help you maximize what you get out of your sessions. Look at areas of weakness that you might have, be it fitness or skills based, and really try and target those. It could be something strength based then. So something like an arm workout. If you feel your arms getting tired on long descents or on long rides, then try focusing specifically on that. Having said that, if it's something skills-based, you find like your cornering is a bit weak, then set up some cornering drills. Narrowing down those areas of weakness and really specifying what your plan is on those will stop you just going through the motions and getting stuck in a rut. Now for me, I think this one is the most important and potentially the biggest, and that is having fun. It's why we got into bikes in the first place, so we shouldn't lose sight of it. We all have a love and passion for mountain biking, and that sounds tough, but we should try and transfer that into training as well. If each session becomes some kind of sweat-filled journey of doom and gloom and you hate it, then it's probably time to mix it up. So make sure then that once you have your plan and it's something that you can stick to, it's not just full of the same old turbo training sessions and weight sessions, and you're doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's not gonna be fun and it's gonna drive you mad. Get out there in the real world, get on the trails and enjoy it. A little top tip here is if you are getting a bit bored, rope in your friends, get them to come along for a training ride and what will make you smile is seeing them suffer. So there we have it then. Getting wrapped up in the world of training and constantly striving to perform can be a tricky one and mistakes can be made. Hopefully this video has helped you spot some of those mistakes early on and is able to catch them before they get any worse. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more, then don't forget to hit subscribe and give us the old thumbs up.